Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here. It's time to take a look at the new Edge 5G UW from Motorola. This one starts at $549 and you get the Snapdragon 778G processor from Qualcomm. You've got a 144 hertz display, triple camera, and more features. We're going to quickly unbox this phone, see what we get inside, and then of course get some hands on with this new phone from Motorola. Let's get started. Here is the Edge 5G UW from Motorola down at the bottom says it is ready for compatible, which is Motorola's feature to connect it to a larger screen and utilize desktop like features. I actually have a demo of it. I can link to that down in the description. Anyways, setting the phone to the side for just a second. Let's quickly take a look what else we get. Standard booklets, safety information, a SIM ejection tool, and finally, just a charging cable, which is USB-C to USB Type-C, so no charging brick in the box. Let's move on to what you came to see, the Motorola Edge 5G UW, and Motorola is calling this color a nebula blue. Now, I'm going to power on the device, and while it boots up, we're gonna take a closer look at the hardware. You have your SIM card slot, USB Type-C port, microphone, and one of the speakers. Moving along the right side, you have your power button with an embedded fingerprint scanner, your volume rockers above it. Make note of the camera bump, fairly minimal, nothing too crazy. And up at the top, just a microphone. And a close look at the back, the color shifts, depending on how the light hits it. You have the Motorola logo on the back. And here's our triple camera system. As it says on the back, the main sensor is a 108 megapixel and then you have an eight megapixel ultra wide angle lens and two megapixel depth sensing lens on the back worth mentioning the ultra wide angle lens can also be used to take macro shots up close anyways i'm going to run through the startup process talk about anything noteworthy as i mentioned the power button is embedded into the excuse me the fingerprint scanner is embedded into the power button so let's set that up really quickly just lifting my thumb setting it on down Pretty much at this point, all physical fingerprint scanners are very quick and accurate. I do like the ones that are embedded in the power button. Uh, it's a nice feature, so you don't really have to move your thumb back and forth to turn the screen on. We are all set up and ready to go. Here is a close look at that 6.8 inch LCD display, and it does go up to 144 hertz and... Let's see, swiping through some of these screens, I can already tell it is enabled out of the box. However, want to confirm that going into display settings, go into advanced, and it is on auto right now. So it will swap between 60 and 144 hertz depending on what content is shown. You can force one or the other. 60 will help save battery life. However, 144 hertz looks so much better and smoother. With a larger screen, you also get a larger battery at 5,000 milliamp hours. So expecting battery life to be very good. Now let's test something out real quick. A quick twist is Motorola's signature move to open up the camera. They have some useful ones. Let's go ahead and snap a couple quick pictures. Shutter speed seems to be fairly quick. Again, you have an ultra wide angle lens there and a macro mode to get very close. And I'll show you how close you can really get. Uh, you'll see how it stays in focus, even though it is still extremely close to what we're taking a picture of. In terms of some other modes, we have night vision, portrait, ultra res, a pro mode, which we can test out here, uh, changing the white balance, ISO, all that good stuff. And then another good one is dual capture, where you can take a picture that you can see there is me, and then it shows something on the rear camera so you can get a video or take a picture of two things at once. And I know twist to open the camera is a big one, but also chop twice for a flashlight. And the thing about these Motorola gestures is they just work how they should. Uh, so it's a nice implementation, but going into the Moto app, there's a lot more things you can do in terms of personalization, styles, wallpapers, three finger screenshot, and just a ton more gestures, including the couple that I have shown off. You'll notice it is a very similar experience to stock Android, which is always nice on Motorola devices. Ready 4 is ready for you right in the panel there. Uh, you can scan it with a PC or wirelessly. You can cast it. You'll see your TV's 
will show up right there. And last but not least, let's test out that fingerprint scanner. So I'm going to just set my thumb down and a little bit of a vibration. I did not even press the power button. I just need to set it on that fingerprint scanner and I'll kind of hit it with my nail. Oops, I accidentally missed it. Hit it with my nail there and it shows the lock screen and then setting it down almost instant at unlocking. And overall, that is everything I want to talk about for now with the Edge 5G UW. Again, you'll notice that 5G icon up towards the top connected to Verizon's 5G network. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think about this new device from Motorola. Uh, be sure to subscribe as well. A lot more content coming soon. As always, thanks for watching.